Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over HTML. So HTML basically is the beginning of all web applications. You start in HTML and from the HTML page, you're, you actually call the CSS to show you how to organize it. Again, a little bit of a weakness of mine, as well as the programming language JavaScript or Dart in our case. Again, it'll be JavaScript unless we use Dartium. I'm still working on that. Don't know exactly what we're going to use once we actually start into the development itself. I'll explain in a future video um, because Dart is actually going through some transitions here. So let's start with the very beginning. We have a blank page. Okay, ignore all this. All right, we have a blank page and it's still, I'm saying starter.html, probably should be index.html, but we have a blank page. But even with HTML, the blank page is not really blank. Okay, so it's kind of one of those philosophy types of things itself. The page itself, everything in HTML is a node. Okay, just a node. That's what everything is. So the page in and of, its, in and of itself is a node. If you create a new page or a new window, okay, a new window would be, okay, you know how you have a web page and then you click on something and a new window pops up and sometimes these are ads and they drive you crazy. That's a new node because everything is a node, including the page in and of itself. Okay. But then we get everything and we put things down. Certain nodes are elements. So this particular node is an element and this basically exclamation point doc type HTML. This lets us know that this is HTML five. All right. And by the way, to use comments in HTML is the less than sign exclamation point dash dash and this is HTML 5 and I think this is the standard for most and you got to close the comments this way I, I think HTML 5 is the um, standard for all browsers so if you don't specify um, doc type it I think they all default to HTML 5 it's it's significant because the the actual I guess I would say vocabulary of the hypertext markup language is different. So if you write something in HTML4, it might render, it might show up differently on a browser than if it was HTML5. Again, generally, most browsers are in um, HTML5, so it's not a big deal. Just put this at the top anyway. These are comments, okay, because if we remember what it was like, and you can have multi-line comments like this um, in Dart, the slashes or triple slashes were the, the comments in HTML. It is going to be these structures. I'm not sure what you actually call them, but they're, they're structures with every tag itself. These things create tags, the less than sign and the greater than sign. It's a type of tag. Okay. So um, it's a tag. There's an open tag, a starting tag, and a closing tag down inside of here with a forward slash HTML. Okay, so, and you have diff different point parts of this. These are called elements. So this is an HTML element, a head element, body element. All applications are gonna have, I'm, I'm gonna say all, almost all, a head, a body, and everything's gonna have HTML. You also have to have a script. Okay, so let's go over it. HTML just says that this is the HTML page head. This is where when you load a page, you click on something, a web application, it loads from top to bottom, starts from the top, it goes all the way down. So if you think about it, you want things in the head, it's the only the things in the body are going to be rendered. So you're going to only see on the web browser things right here. But what if, for example, you want some something that's loaded ahead of time. You want some piece of information that's loaded before you actually see the the um, uh, documentation, the body um, of the HTML page. You would put that up in the header. And we'll go through examples of that as time goes by. But just this is a basic concept. Then in the body, and then there's the script. Generally, the script is at the very end, not beyond the body, but at the very end of the body. Why is that? Again, the concept. You will load the page and then you will do things to it. So for example, if, um, uh, if you put the script a little bit earlier above, it might load some of the programming language before the rest of the page is actually loaded 
and that's not always what we want okay so uh, this is just the general order of things you may might read about things a little bit here and there how it um you want it here you want it there but this is generally how it goes okay and that's what we're going to do for for pretty much everything that we're doing and so there's different tags script type equals application slash dart notice when it says equals open parentheses I'm, I'm sorry open quotations and close quotations application slash dart um the source source is main dot dart so there is at the same level the same level as starter.html, there should be something called um, a file called main.dart, and that is where our Dart actually is. And then you have to close the script in and of itself. Not all elements need to be closed, but many of them actually do. And again, we'll go over that in the future. So that's the basics of, of, a, a, of HTML. All right, so this is basically like the structure. What I'm telling you, like for example, if it's I'm teaching you English, I would say, generally speaking, we talk about the subject, verb, object. Then we talk about generally the adjectives are before the subject. So, so that's basically what I'm going through. What I haven't touched upon was the actual vocabulary. So what are all these elements themselves, right? I'm going to have you go to a website in the future. I'll just discuss, I'll just mention it right now. I'm going to have you go through w3schools.com and actually learn the vocabulary. You don't have to know them up and down. You don't have to know them super, super well, but I'm going to ask that you at least go through it. Go through page after page of it. Don't worry about the JavaScript, just the HTML. Go through it and at least get some familiarity with it. We'll go back over them but not in the detail that they do. And I think that that's important that you get, basically pick up a dictionary, like with English, pick up the dictionary, get the language down. And once you do, we could keep going, but you don't have to do that right now. I'm gonna ask you in the future video when to do it. Okay, I hope this was helpful as just a general overview. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and we'll keep going on from there. All right, thank you.